हेलो जी ऑल माई स्टोरी लवर्स वेलकम बैक इन स्टोरी टाइम चैनल टूडे स्टोरी नेम इज सोम दत्ता एंड अ डेड माउस दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी बिफोर गो टू द स्टोरी प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड थैंक्स फॉर योर लव नाउ लेट्स गो टू द स्टोरी वंस रीच मर्चेंट सडनली डाइड His weak relatives took everything away from his widow. She was so frightened that she took her little son Som Datta and went to a place far away. There she lived in a little hut and worked as a servant in rich man's house. Thus she was able to support herself and her child. She loved her son dearly. and brought him up with great care she gave him all the education that was possible within her small means when somdatta was 16 years old his mother felt he was now old enough to start work my dear son she said to him one day you are the son of merchant you ought to start a business like your father but we have no money There is a rich merchant in this city who gives loans to the promising young man like you go to him and ask him to help you the young man went to the rich merchant's house the very next morning as he went in he found that the merchant was in bad temper he was shouting at another young man i gave you enough money to start a good business he was saying what have you done with it you have not made any profit you have not saved enough to pay the interest on the loan and now you have even lost the capital you don't know how to do business no sir said the young man look even with that dead mouse as stock in trade the merchant said pointing to a dead mouse lying on the floor a clever man would be able to do business som datta look at the dead mouse he thought for a moment then pick up the mouse and took it to the merchant i am taking this mouse from you on loan as stock in trade he said i shall give you a receipt the merchant look at som datta and burst out laughing but som datta was serious he gave the merchant a receipt and went out carrying the dead mouse somdatta was carrying the dead mouse down the street when merchant called out to him from his shop don't throw away that dead mouse said the merchant give it to my cat here she is hungry somdatta gave the dead mouse to the cat in return the merchant gave somdatta two handfuls of peas somdatta took the peas fried them and ground them he took a large jar of water and went outside the city to the cross roads there he found many woodcutters returning to the city with heavy loads of firewood which they had collected in the jungle they were tired so that the offered them water and peas look at here somdatta somdatta is offering water and peas to the woodcutters the woodcutters were pleased they were grateful to somdatta and each one of them gave him two pieces of wood somdatta took these pieces of wood and sold them in the market with a part of money he got he bought more peas the rest of the money he saved The next day also Somdatta went and stood at the crossroads and offered the woodcutters water and peas again they all gave him some wood and this wood too he sold in the market by doing this for many days Somdatta saved up enough money to start a small business in firewood for 3 days he bought up all the wood from the woodcutters he then stored the wood in a safe place Then the rains came in rain for days and days there was a shortage of firewood in the city the price of firewood 
went up very high. Som Datta sold his stock of firewood for a good sum. With this money, he set up a shop. By his efforts and skills, he did better and better in business. Within a few years, he was one of the richest young merchants in the city. He never forgot the rich merchant from whom he had taken a dead mouse. One day, he had a mouse made in gold and went to see the merchant. I am grateful to you, sir, he said. You gave me advice and help and you also lent me the stock to start my business with. He then gave the gold mouse to the merchant. What is this? exclaimed the merchant. Did I give you a loan? Yes, you did, replied Somdatta. You lent me a dead mouse. Somdatta then told him all that had happened that day and since. The rich merchant was very happy to meet Somdatta and hear his story. He admired him so much that he gave him his daughter in marriage. Somdatta's mother was very proud of her son. Then Somdatta, his wife and his mother lived very happily together in great prosperity. This is the end of the story. Do you like it? Then comment it. Subscribe my channel. Bye-bye.